Good morning. Welcome to the morning prayer meeting. If you have the Bible, look at the Genesis chapter 15, verse 15 to 21. Genesis chapter 50, verse 15 to 21. When Joseph's brother saw that their father was dead, they said, What if Joseph hold a judge against us and pay us back for all the wrongs we did to him? So send word to Joseph saying, Your father left this instruction before he died. This is what you are to say to Joseph. I ask you to forgive your brothers the sins and the wrong uh, they committed in the treating you so badly. Now please forgive the sins of the servant of the God of your father. When their message came to him, Joseph wept. His brothers and then came and threw themselves down before him. We are your slaves, they are saying. But Joseph said to them, don't be afraid. Am I in the place of God? You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done, the save, saving of many lives. So then don't be afraid. I will provide for you and your children. And then let's uh, listen to them and spoke kindly to them. Today, I would like to share with you about uh, forgiveness. Forgiveness is very, very important in the eyes of the law. Unfortunately, many people, they don't forgive one another. They hate one another. They, you know, angry one another. They revenge one another. And so wicked generation now. But what was happening? Do you know that what was happening when Joseph was 17? And Joseph's brother tried to kill him. And can you imagine Joseph? He was left in the pitch. And then there's a scorpion, a snag, and very dangerous animals. And then Joseph, he's screaming, he cried. But no one saved him. But thanks be to God, God used the one of Jacob's son, his name Judas. Judas, and he asked his, his brother, so, Instead of we kill him, left him in the pitch, you can sell, sell him, sell him to the Egyptian trader. And then, you know, these, uh, these traders, they bought uh, Joseph with a 20 uh, second of silver. Joseph, he almost died. His brothers uh, terribly, terribly, you know, damaged his life. Can you imagine their own family against Joseph? But Joseph, he knew what was happening. And then 13 years later, Joseph was 30 years old. He became a prime minister of Egypt. Egypt is like the most powerful country in the world, like America. Can you imagine Joseph, he was a slave in Egypt. And then sometime later, he became a, pri a prisoner in in foreign country not only prisoner can you imagine slave and prisoner this man no more prisoner and slave and he become a prime minister of uh, egypt most powerful country in the world and god used this man mightily for the glory of god and then now joseph's father he died jacob died when Jacob died, what will happen? You know, no, the Joseph's brother, they're scary because of Joseph maybe revenge all his brothers. That is why they bring the message to Joseph. And your father left this message before he died, what they say. And then, you know, this is the message from your father, our father. Please forgive your brothers the sins and wrongs they committed in treating you so badly. Please forgive them. And then, and then, you know, when Joseph heard this message, he cried, he wept. You know, he when you cry, even Genesis chapter forty-two, he was crying loudly. And then that cry, that tears, is means. 
I already forgive you. Did you understand? Of course, so painful, so upset, so deeply in a, in a, in a suffering. But actually, he overcome this resentment. He overcome the, you know, pain and then suffering. All these things he overcome. Joseph, he overcome. And then you know what was every Joseph's brother bowed down before Joseph, and they say, "We are your slaves." They said, and Joseph, I thank God what Joseph said. Joseph say, "Don't be afraid. Am I in the place of God?" No, I'm not God. I'm the same like you. You intended to harm me, but God intended for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. Do you know what Joseph said? You tried to kill me. You tried to damage it so badly, but God working together for good. That is the message. It's not wonderful. Therefore, all things, all things working together for good. For those who love Jesus, for those who receive the calling of God, therefore I have good news for you. Yeah, I have good news for you. Please forgive somebody, those who upset you, angry with you, despise you, hate you, and persecute you. Forgive them. Forgive them. You know, Peter came to Jesus. Jesus, it's okay. I can forgive them seven times. Seven times is like a perfect number. Perfectly forgive Jesus. No, no, no. Seventy times by seven, which means four hundred and ninety times, which means we have to forgive them unconditionally. You have to forgive them continually. Did you understand? Most of your enemy, they don't come before you. Please forgive me. They don't say to you. But what should you do? You must choose to forgive. If you don't forgive them, you'll be trouble. Do you understand? Forgive their sins. Forgive their sins. That is why this man Joseph say, and God intended for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. And thanks be to God, he said, don't be afraid. I will help you and your children. I will suffer for you and your children. Provide for you and your children. What Joseph say. And in these days, uh, we need uh, uh, forgiveness from each other. It's easy to, uh, easy to say thank you, thank you for one another. But it's very hard to say to each other, I'm sorry. Can you say to your wife, say to your husband and your children, your parents, I'm so sorry. Can you forgive me? If you say to your family, ask for forgiveness, then God will open the gate of heaven and the breakthrough will see. God will open the door and an amazing breakthrough come into your life. When you're asking our Lord, oh Lord, forgive my sins. That is our Lord's prayer. And we forgive one another. Oh God, forgive all our sins. Forgiveness is very, very important. Forgive one another. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this wonderful day. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus of Nazareth, people, they live in the resentment, live in the bitterness, anger, and hatred. They don't want to forgive one another. They try to revenge. Oh Lord, help us. Instead, we revenge to each other. We forgive one another. We bless one another. Oh Lord, help us to forgive. Father, have mercy on all uh, your children. Especially, I pray for people of Afghanistan. Forgive their sins. Forgive them. And they forgive one another. Oh Lord, if you will, you can remove this wicked generation, wicked regime in Afghanistan. Lord, you can remove them. I don't know how, but by your power of the Holy Spirit. You can touch the, all the United Nations leaders to send the you know, army, or I don't know how, but you can set them free uh, from these uh, hands of the Taliban. Lord Jesus, do something for people of Afghanistan. Father, you can do something. Touch the, all the leaders in the world, especially European country or America. Oh Lord, do something for people of Afghanistan. Lord Jesus, your kingdom come, your will be done. We forgive the sins of the Taliban. I know they are so wicked. They kill the women and children. They kill, they need revenge. But they say, oh, we don't want to revenge, blah, blah. But nobody believed that. Lord, help us. 
forgive their sins, protect all the people of Afghanistan from all the dangers and darkness. We thank you for your grace and your mercy. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Have a wonderful day today. And uh, keep on praying for people of Afghanistan. Be blessed. Forgive one another. Forgive your children, your family, your friend, anybody who hurt you. Choose to forgive. Be blessed. Have a wonderful day. Bye now.